So I would like to invite the Honourable Minister to give the award to see this phenomenal individual who has inspired a lot of us. And Judy, who is obviously um, from Kenya, will be taking the award back home. So, we're at the end of our award, so I would like to thank every single member of the judging panel and all of you for being here with us tonight and most importantly, being prepared to whatever was going to happen, I warn you, and I think it's been quite fun, I don't want to do this again. So I'm going to pass back to our MC, and of course, there will be some conclusion done by our authorities. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's once again appreciate the Prof. Marina Novelli, <laughs> Professor of Tourism and International Development and Responsible Futures. Okay. What do you want to do right about now, ladies and gentlemen? We invite all the award winners to come forward for a group photograph. All the award winners. Recipients, please come forward for group photograph. All of us, all award winners, please come up here.
all the runners up, all runners up, please kindly forward us your certificate for completion. All runners up, please, we need your certificates for completion. Thank you very much, please. We can do the do photographs after the next session. Right about now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring to the microphone Mr. Kwache Donko to lead us to do the special presentation of awards. So please, let's give him the audience. Thank you very much. Whilst we wait for Mr. Pachi, please, all runners up, I'll need your certificates back for completion. All right, we'll need your certificate back for completion. Thank you very much. Mr. Pachi. award is to recognize those who've made the friends, who've made it today possible, and who've made this week fantastic, and also those who've also made the friends, without necessarily going through special criteria. And this is given by ATP to the people that we are recognizing. The first one will be uh, Professor Novali after making that, where is she? I think she made a lot of noise, so he deserves an award for that. For all her work <laughs> that she's done in Africa and the <laughs> Professor Novell. Professor Novell, a recognition for a work in Africa for sustainable tourism. to come and join me here, please. Um, we feel that, just for your information, a lot of the work that we've done here was done with the support of a professional organization, our knowledge partners, uh, who from the one that this dream came through, I consulted and we discussed and see how best we could run with. Uh, and they were very supportive on all the initiatives that we're running and more that we like to run in Africa. And they've done a lot of work in Africa as well, uh, as far as tourism is concerned. Research from property development, convention bureaus, uh, statistics, and whatever uh, that you can think of. And that is Grand Talk <laughs> Team. that dream comes true. And uh, I remember when I came to Ghana from Rwanda, uh, passing through to do a presentation on instruction of Elsia. Uh, I mentioned some of the initiatives that we are working on, being through the ministry and stuff like that. Mr. Ajman said, no, it's not going back anywhere. We are having it here. So I said, no. It's not happening here because we already have conversation. He said, no, it's not going back. And true to his word, this event really happened in Ghana today. So we feel that it's important, we appreciate. And he's been very supportive, handsome, being with us. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll be surprised that between him and I, we, we, we start chatting about 3 a.m. in the morning, trying to see how things are going. So all this thought, I think, 
Any of you would like to recognize Mr. Ajiman for all the hard work and support of the And I must say, not only for that, um, we also, um, I would like the Minister of Seychelles to join us because it's a very important statement I want to make. When I read the manifesto of the current president, as far as tourism concern, is concerned, it was stated somewhere that they want to push Ghana to become a mice tourism destination. You know, we understand there are challenges, there are difficulties, but I always believe that a journey of thousand miles starts with the very first step. And Ghana, within this year that I've been here, I've seen that that particular initiative is taking shape. We understand there are a lot of areas and room for improvement. And it's all because of GT under the leadership of Mr. Edelman. So he's not getting the award because he hosted us, but the effort that is you making to push Ghana as a vice top So please stop please. Thank you. Thank you. You want to see your dancing skills, Mr. Edelman. Now, if you listen to our conversations, when he spoke in the morning, he said that he's got three bosses and all of them happen to be women. What is the minister? Oh, okay. And um, it's true. They say behind every successful man there is a woman. But here behind every successful man who is a leader, there is a woman leader. And whatever Mr. Ajman is doing without collaboration, support, and the blessings of the minister, we wouldn't be sitting here. Mice would not be happening here. And we felt that the minister, for her support and giving policy direction and the work that she's doing herself to support the work that Mr. Ajman is doing and we have done in this country this year. Two occasions, women in tourism and this very one. We would like to say, we recognize your effort, Minister, and please, I will ask the Shell Minister to come back again to hand over this to her, uh, to his colleague, Minister. Taunting uh, Professor Nubali to join the minister here, please, to for us to get a protocol. Sorry, minister. Um, forgive me if I'm breaching protocols. <laughs> Just did. The great hills and the most everlasting we know was Ghana. That is what we know how to do best. As cute as this local country can be, we are ready to host the rest of the world. 
and wherever you are, wherever you come in here, we'll find a place to put you. We have a very huge table, and we call it our hospitality industry. And with this wonderful woman seated here, anytime you look at her face, she only wink and give you a smile. And that inspires confidence and courage. If she were not awarded, I have a special recognition to give her. And it's good that she's come to talk to us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take our closing remarks. And this very evening, she's gracefully dressed. I'm asking, is she going to be wedded once again? I bring to the microphone the most adorable woman in tourism, our own mother, Honorable Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, Madam Madam Minister, Honorable, before, before, before the Minister speaks, I believe it's proper that we honor also all the speakers who have been here with us. And so the Minister will present some... So in no particular order, I would like to call on Elsia Granko. Vincent Opara, thank you very much. You, know, you can't go back from Ghana without KT. These are the speakers who have flown in from all over Africa and the world. Gillian Sanders. Crystal Goman. Crystal. And then we have Professor Novelli. Marina Novelli. Kobe Mesa, Dr. Kobe Mesa, he, he is from Ghana, so I don't know whether he needs a KT. <laughs> Frank Murangwa, they say we need a dance from you. Our brother from Rwanda is here. Judy Kefagona. John Howell. Yours and aircraft. Mela Matola. Jeanette Maloto. Mr. Kwachi, don't call. Thank you so much.
Carmen Imigira <laughs> Jacinta Inzioka Aaron Munetsi. We need a band. Hey. Barry Clemens. Africa and Ghana. <laughs> 